So you're trying to create an amazing OBS studio live stream or video or something like that, but you can't get your video to fit in this little box, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you how I get my mug inside of this little square in the easiest way possible that looks good and professional. Stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Chris Heidelbaugh, and I teach digital marketing to DIYers, meaning on this channel, I talk about WordPress, web design, SEO, social media, video, things like that, things to help you take control of your own online success. So if you're a motivated DIY yourself and you're working on your own blog or website, maybe for business, would you consider subscribing to this channel? All you got to do is hit the little subscribe button underneath this video. And you also have the option to hit the little bell notification. So when I create a new video, you get notified. But also when I go live, as I do with every Saturday's live show, you get to come on and you can ask me questions. We can look at your website and just have a lot of fun together. So thank you so much for your consideration. So in this video, we're talking about how I get my mug into this square here. You know, it's one of those things when I was looking for an overlay, I couldn't find one that worked for me. So I had to create my own and I'll work on that in another video. But it's one of those things where one of the biggest problems was there's so many gaming ones, right? For Twitch and all these other things. And I'm not a gamer, you know, I mean, I, I appreciate games, but, you know, I'm too busy working and stuff to play. So it's one of those things where, you know, everything was like gamer ones. And it was like weird just stuff. And I'm just like, this is not like an educational channel, what I wanted. Okay. So the problem is when I was looking with through some of them, I couldn't fit my face into these things. And I'm like, I just gave up for a little bit. Okay. So then I saw Nick Nimmin and Nick Nimmin had a great video on OBS. Definitely check out his channel. And so I took those concepts to create this. Now I'll show you what the key of it, this whole trick of all of this, and I'll tell you it right now. Okay. Is the overlay. Bam. Take the overlay off. You see some of my office. I have wood walls. Put it back on. You see my black background. Take it off. Put it on. Take it off. Put it on. And that is the key. Is the overlay has a hole in it. Okay? So what that means is if I take the overlay here and I move it around, do you see how it has a hole? I'm going the opposite. <laughs> I'm going the opposite way of my eyes. I can't do that very good. Okay. I won't do that. Um, but no, that's the thing is it's just a hole. So if you have a video editing or excuse me, a graphic editing software, just cut a hole in a picture and then you're done. That's it. That's all you got to do. And that is the secret. But unfortunately, there's so many um, overlays and stuff that just don't have just a stock, you know, default kind of thing. Now, if you're small and you're square in the corner playing a game, most people aren't going to notice. But if you're the main, you know, host or whatever show, then you kind of got to be a little bit more front and center, right? So let me show you another example of this. This is my beginning screen of my live tutorials. I'm bringing down the camera just a little bit because it's a little high. Okay. This is my beginning screen of my tutorial or my uh, live streams. And I talk about today's show. I talk about news, Q&As, our feature. I talk about a, a cool new thing. Uh, I do website reviews. So again, if, if you have a website and need help, you can come on and I can ask, answer questions about why your website may not be for, performing well or doing good SEO, things like that. And then, um, but anyways, again, same concept. Let me show you the overlay here. I just move it out. The text is even on there, okay? I just move it out. And now you see the office. But when it's on that, it looks pretty good, right? I mean, I give it a thumbs up. I mean, it works for me. And so as a DIYer, it's one of those things where you just have to kind of like, uh, you know, work for you. So let's just assume you already have an overlay or you're going to be working on an overlay, but at least now you kind of know what to do. So let's go over to Photoshop and Canva. I'm going to show you exactly how this kind of works. I'm going to go to Canva first here, okay? So all it is here in Canva is an image, okay? So this is just layers. I got this layer on top of this layer, on top of this layer, and this one, okay? This is just an image. This is just a shape that I just used the, like, transparency here. I just put it down to 90, okay? Give it kind of that dark look. Uh, I put this one over and then I did this one over that to kind of give it a little bit of drop shadow. There might be other ways. I have no idea. Um, and then this is the exact same thing. Okay. And I saved it. No big deal. Okay. And then I brought it over into Photoshop here. Um, this is just another variety, but same, basically same concept. Um, and, and this is it. Okay. This is just an image. Okay. That's all it is. It's one single image. There's, there's no layers here. Nothing weird. It's just one single image. Okay. And you can do this in any graphic editing tool that you have that can do this. It's no big deal, okay? So I just go up to the marquee tool. 
I click on an edge that I want to do, give a little bit of the gold in there, kind of my thing. And I highlight it eh, off a little bit and I hit delete. Bam, you're done. Save it and go put it on OBS. I mean, that's how simple it is because here it is. There's that hole. There's that hole. That's all you have to do. Okay. Let's try, if you say, well, Chris, let's try with an image. Okay. Here's an image, just a, just a random computer image that I use for some things. But maybe it's, you have a, a poster of your favorite band or, and maybe you're, you do, uh, or a movie and, and whatever, and you're just going to just use something and you're just going to cut a hole into it. Okay. Same thing. Just find your, find your little tool here, figure out what you're going to have around this. Okay. Maybe you're going to have social media icons down here. Maybe you're going to have like subscribe me over here or, you know, something else, maybe other boxes. Okay. Just find a spot, you know, that you want to use and just pull out a hole. Great. I got it covered. Hit delete. Bam. I'm done. That's it. Okay. Let's save it and we'll load it. So one key thing is when you're saving it, no matter what you're doing, is make sure you save as a PNG because if you do it as a uh, JPEG, you'll notice that it goes to white and then it won't work. So you need to kind of have it as a JPEG so you keep that transparency. And now we're just going to save it and I'll put uh, demo OBS. Great. Now let's go back over to OBS. So here we are. And let's go back to my live show screen here. And so we're going to find my overlay. I'm going to turn it off. And now, yeah, I'll leave it on. It was find the other one here. Um, we'll go to properties and let me go find the image now. Do, 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 do. Okay, demo OBS. Okay. So here is our new one here. Okay. Uh, let me turn off some of this other stuff. I mean, again, you may not have tickers and... Uh, you know, things like that, you know, so no big deal. And you can, of course, always add this stuff. It's it's nothing um, that's going to cause any issues by any means. So let's, uh, I don't know what this is hanging on for still. Oh, let's take her back. Okay, either way. We'll move it up there for a second. Okay, so here we are on our image now. Okay, so let me take um, the overlay. We'll delete it. Take it on. Turn it off. Turn it on. Turn it off. So now we can see it. Okay. Then we'll do the webcam. And if you see, you just pull yourself around wherever you need to go, right? And again, we take away our overlay. This is just me straight up. This is me Saturday night. And then we put our overlay around it. Okay. So again, you can take your overlay and you can, you can see, see, it's just a square, right? And I'm sure there's a way you can go in here and you could probably trim up the edges. You can make it all glowing and stuff like that, but that's it. That's all you have to do. That's the secret of getting your camera into this little boxes, make your overlay go over your camera and then you can hide stuff in the background or whatever. Um, you know, it's super simple. So hopefully this tips kind of helped you. So when you're working your overlay or you're looking at things, kind of keep this in mind. So that way when you do, um, you know, get, uh, you know, an overlay that looks super nice, that it's something that works extremely well for you. And, and that's the thing is, you know, your show is going to be different than my show, of course, you know, I mean, that's just, you know, kind of how it is and, and, uh, um, you know, how it kind of goes and, and actually let me go back here that way. And my begin screen. There we go. <laughs> so again, you know, just figure out your box layout and then cut your cut your hole of where you want to be in your layouts. Now, granted, for this, I wanted to be up front and center because I'm gonna say, hey, today today's show we're talking about this and we're talking about that, and so that way you can kind of go with your show. Now, and um, if you notice, um, I have scenes set up, and so in, in the descriptions of the video, I have a playlist. You can look at some of my other OBS videos, and one of them actually talk about how you do. Um, transitions and you do like a studio mode. So when I go from my different uh, transitions and stuff, you, you know, I, I transfer over. Um, I, I have like a stinger. So when I when I do a transfer, so for example, if I'm here and I do a transfer over, it does a stinger and then it goes into my transfer. So kind of cool stuff. But either way, thank you for watching this video. It means a lot to me. And, and hopefully, uh, you know, you're able to learn something. Don't hesitate to go ahead and subscribe. Um, 
you know, hopefully uh, I can provide you with content, not only now, but in the future as well. So thank you again. And no matter what, I hope that you find success online, offline, and in your life. Take care.